we had uh, Air Med come into our different task forces uh, throughout the entire Wasatch Front, uh, Salt Lake County, Utah County, Weber County, and Davis County. And uh, the purpose for this is for officers to learn how to set up a landing zone when they have a medical helicopter coming in. We are out doing educating so that we can provide uh, training to those who are going to be our eyes on the ground, who are going to help us um, land safely and to help the patient. The copy of Red 21, uh, the advice LZ is going to be the parking lot. There is a grass field to the, directly to the west, uh, trees surrounding LZ. Some of the considerations for when choosing a landing zone for an air medical helicopter land is uh, the size of the LZ. We prefer 100 feet by 100 feet. Uh, the type of terrain that we're landing on, we prefer a solid flat ground. Um, we also um, would like to land on anything less than an 8 degree slope. Uh, some of the hazards that may be in the area that can uh, blow up and to get into our rotor system and to injure those who are around us um, from the rotor wash that this aircraft does provide. Um, then also some of the debris that can move as far as um, dirt, um, snow, loose gravel, rocks, garbage cans as in a good example. With the summer months coming, we know that there's going to be people going out to the mountains, recreating, having a good time with camping, hiking. We know that people are going to be traveling. Unfortunately, people get hurt to where they need a medical helicopter, and uh, sometimes seconds are the meaning between life and death. And if we can get the helicopter on the ground as quickly as possible, get the patient loaded, and out of here to the hospital, uh, we can save lives that way.